So here I have um, us, uh, the RPM and the odometer, the speedometer of uh, Harley Davidson. And we're going to be replacing the backlight LEDs on the speedometer and odometer uh, because when they come, they come as um, a yellow color, but we're going to be changing it to all blue and then red for the inside. And it just makes it look a lot nicer as well. So here's the circuit board and we're going to be replacing these LEDs right here. You can see them. I do have an LED tester, so I'm just going to be testing out the voltage. Okay. Negatives on the left hand side. And you can see that this is blue. Okay, so we're, we already swapped that out. And this one's red. Okay, so we want them all blue. And then we want red for the center. I'm just going to check out their voltages. So the voltage, um, these are three volt LEDs. And right here. So normally they're just a, a dull white color and the white doesn't look too, too good. You can see, so we're going to be changing these right here. Uh, the inside is going to be red and the outside is going to be blue. So what I did is I, I just put a little black mark on the negative side of the LED so that I know the correct orientation. I'm going to be popping off this guy, this guy, all these guys right here. And I'm going to be putting uh, blue right here on all these guys out there. So. Alright, so I got them all off. Now we just have to put on the new ones. And then what I'm going to do is I, I'm just going to put a little bit of flux on and that will just make it so I'll we'll have a better connection here. And then I'm just going to be pushing down. Same here. Right. Now we can test out our board here. Uh, positive on the outside. And you see it's all blue. I'll show you that underneath the screen. Oh, here's the LED. And Again, the positive one is right here. This is the positive. It has the, um, the see this little indentation on the LED? That indicates that it's negative, okay? And then this is positive. It makes a really nice flow. I'm just going to 
clean up a little bit of the flux that we have uh, accumulated there. So let's get rid of. Let's get rid of um, some of the, the flux that we got there. That's the first one there, and if you just use a basic multimeter, you can test it out. Just put it in your multimeter in diode mode, and put in the negative and um, positive, and that'll just put a little bit of voltage. And on these devices, the uh, all the LEDs are three volts, so you just you can see it. There's the blue light there, looking really nice. So remove these uh, these ones right here. These um, are the white ones, and we'll just use a soldering iron to remove them, and then we'll update them to to this guy here. Okay, now we put on the flux. Oh, this one I put on wrong. So here's the diagram for the polarity 
for the five ones, uh, the four or five ones here, it's uh, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. The one on the right hand side is flipped, so just be careful, that's the only one to note. The inside ones, these, uh, you can change it to like red or whatever, this would be negative, positive, um, and then bottom is negative and the top ones are positive there if you want to change those. Um, for the speedometer meter one there, um, it's negative positive and then it's the same orientation as this uh, one here. Okay, so that's how to change your Harley Davidson um, speedometer and uh, RPM meter to change those LEDs to get rid of those um, very dull white ones to add some color to your life. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.